Dennis Rodman, the craziest player in NBA history? Dennis Rodman is a puzzler. There's likely no greater method to depict him. The B-Ball Hall of Famer put it best in the initial scene of ESPN's The Last Dance when he said, I was stunned that the Chicago Bulls even requested that I come. I think I was excessively unusual for them. The Last Dance centers around the 1997-98 Chicago Bulls season, Michael Jordan's sixth and last title, and normally his Hall of Fame colleagues that ate a concrete MJ status as the GOAT. Scenes 1 and 2 cover Scottie Pippen in more noteworthy detail, while Scene 3, which airs on April 26, is relied upon to plunge further into Dennis Rodman, both as a player and an individual. Any individual who knows the slightest bit about the ball and the 90s Bulls knows two things about Rodman, that he was one of the best rebounders ever and that he was an influencer well before online media even existed. Rodman was associated with everything from tornado newspaper sentiments and crazy shaded haircuts to get to know unfamiliar tyrants. Nothing was untouchable to the 6 feet 7, 220 pounds bouncing back machine. After secondary school, Rodman was destitute and functioned as a janitor. He wore shading on his nails well before Virgil Abloh did, and did get drafted into the NBA until he was 25. From various perspectives, Rodman was a prototypical 2020 inventive, 30 years before any other person was. Here we investigate Rodman's most outrageous minutes, both on and off the court. Number 1. The Hair Dennis Rodman's bouncing back capacity is just matched by the absurdity of his consistently evolving hairdos. He's had cheetah print, a smiley face, ooze green, and a generally quieted blanched blonde. Rodman started coloring his hair following a close to self-destruction endeavor, which he expanded on in his 1997 memoir. I concluded that, instead of killing myself, I plan to kill the faker that was driving Dennis Rodman to a spot he would not like to go. Rodman pledged never to be the modest sham again and showed us his real nature, which was extremely splendid. Number 2. I Do Too In 1996, Rodman came out as sexually open, a major advance for any individual, not to mention an expert competitor. Underlining his declaration, he chose to wet himself, wearing a major white wedding dress. Out of confidence, yet additionally as a component of the limited time visit for his life account, bad as I want to be. Number 3. Dennis and Madonna This rundown wouldn't be finished without one of Rodman's escapades, and what better VIP to have a tornado sentiment with during the 90s than Madonna? The sentiment just kept going a couple of months, however, last year, Rodman asserted the vocalist offered him 20 million US dollars to impregnate her. Madonna once called him while he was in Vegas to reveal to Rodman she was ovulating. Rodman expeditiously finished his night to bounce on a personal luxury plane to New York to beat Madonna. Would you be able to envision Rodman in the athlete's village at the Olympics? Number 4. Hollywood Career Another sign of 90s VIP was that everybody needed to have a film. Michael Jordan had Space Jam, Shock was in a film, and a computer game, so Dennis Rodman must be as well. Rodman featured close by Jean-Claude Van Damme in Double Team, a 1997 film that has an 11% crisp rating on Rotten Tomatoes. His presentation was so terrible, it sacked Rodman Razzie's for Worst New Star, Worst Supporting Actor, and Shared Worst Screen Couple with co-star Van Damme. Oof. Number 5. Back to NBA In 2003, Dennis Rodman attempted to mount a rebound to the NBA. He was 45 years of age and fizzled at his endeavor to make a significant revisitation of an NBA program. In evident Rodman style, however, the Hall of Famer transformed its anything but a broadly plugged three-year venture that had even the harshest skeptic pulling for him, regardless of whether it's anything but a smidgen. And another thing about Rodman that cannot be left unnoticed is his relationship with one of the most hated men on this planet. Dennis Rodman's all-around-the-world reported relationship with North Korean despot Kim Jong-un isn't only the most strange passage in this video, it's maybe the oddest feature ever. It's at this point unclear how these two became companions, and regardless of whether Rodman accepted, he was attempting to further develop relations between North Korea and the United States, or on the off chance that it was all an oddly on-brand exposure stunt. Well, he's crazy, but he is something. Well, that's all for this video, guys. I hope you enjoy watching this video. Show us your support by giving it a big thumbs up. And until next time, stay tuned and stay subscribed.